Brian David Gilbert, an entertainment specialist, a bureaucratic wunderkind. He is a main entertainer, which I have experienced through my teenage years, and I'm still a teenager. What makes him so special was his unraveled videos, his special style of videos. But I don't know if you know this, but he left about a year ago and left a void in my heart. I'm gonna bring Brian David Gilbert back. So let's go make a formula with every single Brian David Gilbert video to create new Brian David Gilbert videos. With me right now, I have a small piece of paper that says how to Brian David Gilbert. And I may print too small for his style, but I do an amazing smash cut. Boom. Over here, we have three different categories of Brian David Gilbert videos. I have put them in three different categories. You could put them in way more, but that will be overcomplicating it. So first we're gonna start with the ranking videos. These are fictional to real life standards. Moral cuddlers. You're not gonna wanna have these to cuddle, but you're basing them off of real factors. That's what makes them entertaining. You also have to give reason to what you're doing, unless what you're doing is like, you know, very simple. All of these guys are the same function, so why would you even rank them more separately? There are a bunch of examples here, which you may consider not actual rankings, such as The Legend of Zelda recipes. You might consider these not actually a ranking, but he does rank them in the videos. He ranks them by how tasty they are. They're not in order, but it's a ranking. <laughs> Same as the Pokemon edibility. Technically not a ranking, but he does rank them. So I'm putting them here anyway. Next up is the explanation category. Choose a topic you or people want to know about. This can be, what is Kirby? What is it like to read every single Halo novel? I just want to say, this dude spent an entire year reading Halo novels. He went from being able to go anywhere in the world to being confined to his own room while reading all of these novels. That's some dedication. Some of these might have a little bit of controversy. For example, the OSHA violation video. You might say, oh, well, it's actually a ranking video. Not really, it doesn't really put them in order or like by which one is the safest, it's just safe or not. I would still count this because it is a pretty good video and technically an unravel, judging by the playlist that I chose on YouTube. And then finally over here, we have the tutorial category. Again, fictional to real life standards. This is the smallest version of them all because he doesn't really have a lot to go off of. Some of these are like, oh man, it's not really a tutorial. He's just showing you what, but he does. It's a step-by-step -step guide. He has 10 steps and he goes through them very thoroughly. I hope you respect Brian David Gilbert because he puts a lot of effort in his videos. We have sort of an unraveled, which is the Kojima name generator. This is an exception to the Brian David Gilbert suit rule, which is you gotta always wear a suit. You don't have to wear a tie, that's optional, as in some of the videos he doesn't actually wear a tie. But you have to have a suit. This one also wasn't recorded in studio. Some of you might say that it makes sense that he didn't record all of them in a studio, because COVID. But we're not gonna focus on those videos, which you can tell, because we're going back to the glory days. Now, of course, we can't perfectly recreate Brian David Gilbert videos without Brian David Gilbert. I mean, no one can be Brian David Gilbert. But with this formula and categorizing all of them, we can figure out a formula, so to say, to make more videos without the actual Brian David Gilbert. We can get an imposter, but that would be ludicrous. Who wants a fakie to play Brian? Get your hand down. It's not like we can recreate Brian or something. Like there's not like a step-by-step -step guide on how to make Brian. Okay, so I have found a certain style in his videos because everyone has patterns, right? You can decode anyone in current today, you know? You have some of his style, some of his outer things that you can 
notice. Uh, first of all, the slide-ins, such as this one, where he does a slide-in. That's one of his main, it's, it's his feature, you know, it's what he does. Uh, the free cameras, you know, I have free cameras and I can point at you all because I am doing this and black wall, I mean, I don't have a black wall, I have a black curtain, but this is the best I could do and I've been working for three months just to even be able to be here and to write this and to hang this on the wall and I... I'm not... Brian. But I could be. I have analyzed Brian David Gilbert for every single one of his videos. I know him better than he knows himself. I have all of his attributes that he has. Uh huh, he's positive. He's a cook, as you can see in the Legend of Zelda videos. He loves cooking and he knows how to cook. Because why shouldn't a man know how to cook? I know how to cook. I can make an omelet. Uh, he's energetic. I'm energetic. You know, I got myself a cup, I filled it full of Red Bull. That's canonical. That's in an actual video of his. There's Red Bull in this mug. Hey uh, he's peppy, you know. Oh, I'm Brian David Gilbert. I can dance. I can do a title behind me, you know. I can do it in front of me. I can... He's extroverted. I can change myself. I don't have to be introverted all of my life. He's eccentric. That means a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Look at me. Aren't I weird? I'm dressed up as a suit in my fucking school, in my college. I have enough that wants to be Brian. I can be Brian if I devote myself to being him. Because I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing all the time. I don't have any Unraveled videos. And without those videos, I'm going to go insane. Maybe I went a bit too far there. I can't really explain all of my actions, you know. This video is kind of disrespectful to him, even. Recreating him while he's left. I should, I, I should respect him for choosing a different career, but I need him. This is the guy that brought me through high school. I. I got through high school because of him. He's what kept me up. He's, he's what kept me peppy. And now without him, there's a void. I know that Brian has left Polygon and he's no longer doing Unraveled videos and he does still do videos on, you know, his actual channel, but... <sighs> Maybe I should respect his leave. And that's a thing Brian would say. To the next video. Woo!